ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to this. This is a, a fantastic achievement, um, uh, on a, really a joint effort between Angus Council and uh, the Scottish Government, although Angus Council uh, and the workers there have done uh, all of the heavy lifting over many, many years. Um, I was impressed by how much effort had to go into the design of this, to the specification, to understanding what was absolutely necessary. Uh, and yet once the construction started, it went relatively quickly. Um, it's cost 16.3 million. We're hoping it's going to come in a bit under budget, which is even better news for everybody uh, who has been involved in the, in the financing of it. Um, but it is testament to one of the issues that we really do have to tackle just now, which is the, the effect of climate change uh, on the circumstances within which we live. And it is, le is leading to, uh, rather than the global warming, some people used to gleefully think was a great idea for Scotland, it is actually leading to us becoming much wetter and the, uh, the, the, the flood events, the, the rainfall events, becoming much more sudden and much sharper. And Brecon is not the only place that's suffering in this way. So somewhere like Brecon that's had a history uh, of uh, flooding uh, is, you know, without real work being done here, would be facing perhaps that flooding coming around even more often. Uh, and that's really what we're trying to prevent here. We're trying to make sure that Brecon is resilient to any more increased flooding events. And I, I think the work that's been done here is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's interesting for the geeks, it's, uh, uh, it's the, probably the last scheme done under the old flood uh, uh, legislation. Um, virtually all schemes from here on will be under the 2009 legislation. This is under the legislation from the 1960s. Um, but no bad thing, uh, it's still going to do the job. It's going to be protecting domestic residences, it's going to be protecting businesses, it's going to be protecting infrastructure. So that's three big hits and I know that there's also been some great um, side effects and advantages out of it, just from some of the landscaping uh, and, the, and the additional kind of community benefit that's been built into the whole process. So I hope everybody feels that the inconvenience and difficulty that that has been perhaps over the last few years while it's being built, I hope everybody feels that it's worth it to know that their homes, businesses and roads are safe from here on in. That's what flood prevention is all about. It's about people feeling safer. It's a big challenge for us. It's one that the Scottish Government is up to meeting and I know that local councils like Angus Council, the length of Scotland, uh, are up to sharing that challenge with us. Thank you very much.